Good evening from the Swan and Dolphin Resort. Tonight, we're headed out to the Food and Wine Classic. And we've actually been to this event a few times before, and we'll put some links in the description down below so you can see previous years. I'm excited because this will be the first time that they're hosting it outdoors since COVID-19. So they've always had outdoor sections of the event, but there's usually like big things that happen inside too. Like they'll have live bands, kind of like a more party atmosphere. Right. They'll have different like little bars and things inside, mm -hmm. but not this year. Yeah. So we're excited to see how everything is going to work this year. We've been watching them kind of set it up because if you've been watching the videos, you know that we're staying at the Swan and Dolphin and we can see it right outside of our window here. Yeah. So let's go down and check it out. Ooh, oh, I can already hear it. It's a party. <laughs> it's happening. So we came in from over here at the Dolphin and we actually got our temperature checked kind of right here. And that's where you check in to make sure that your name is on the list and that you have bought tickets. So all the tickets were pre-sale and it includes all you can eat food when you buy a ticket to this event. All right, we are all checked in. I think it's time to try some food. What do you think? Should we try Shula's or the pig and the poke first? Or the pig and the poke? Which one do you want to try, Jackson? All right. So here's a look at the layout this year. It is scaled down from previous events, but I wanted to point out all of the food stations. You got Kimono's, which is a restaurant here at Swan and Dolphin. The Fountain is also a restaurant here. Smokin' D's Barbecue, that's an outside vendor. Todd English's Blue Zoo, and in years past, Todd English has been here, so we might get to see him tonight. The Reserve is the Swan and Dolphin Reserve, so that's something from the new hotel that they're building across the way. Oh. The Pig and the Poke, Shula's Steakhouse, Il Molino, Sweets and Treats, ooh, and that's just desserts from the Swan and Dolphin, Chinatown, Frida's Kitchen and Finn's, which has a soft pretzel. I'm excited for that one. Oh, look, it's kind of like off on its own over here. Oh. But one of the main attractors here is the wine. Look at all of these different wines that they have. 16 different wine stations. They're not all wines though. So this one is Kettle One. So oh. they, do, they do it and they have a beer, like a beer area as well. Okay. And then uh, Bubbles. Ooh. So there are definitely um, lots of fun food and drink options. I think there's 12 different food vendors. All right, first stop is Shula's. They have a prime New York strip, salt roasted prime New York strip loin, roasted marble potatoes, onion puree, and truffle veal jus. Oh yeah, this looks real nice. I'm excited for this one. All right, let's see. All right, so we ate Shula's last night for dinner, so we already know that their food is delicious. Um, but let's take a little bite of this. So wait, Ooh. what was the gel? It was like an onion? Yeah, it was an onion puree. Mm, oh yeah, it's like a sweet onion gel. And then what's the sauce? The veal jus. Oh, it tastes just like a delicious gravy. Kind of salty, so I bet it will taste really nice with like the sweet onion. They go really well together. Oh yeah? Yeah. Nice. Wow, oh, that's really good. So the, the meat is super tender. It does have like a little, not a crust, but like a, a seasoned kind of layer to it, you know? But yeah, that sweet and salty from the onion puree and the veal jus, really, really good. Delicious. Buddy, are you dancing to the song? They're playing some music right now and he's dancing. He said, this is my jam. This is my jam. <laughs> he's like, it drives me crazy. <laughs> All right, so we just tried Shula's, and so far, that's my favorite thing. <laughs> it's the only thing we've had. But it's the only boat tour <laughs> It was really, really delicious. I like, still, that's sweet and salty, that's where it's at. I think I preferred it without the onion. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm not like a huge onion fan. Okay. And it was like a sweet onion puree, which kind of turned it into like almost like a gel. Yeah. But it was very delicious both ways i just preferred it without the onion myself personally i preferred it with the onion well there you go personally <laughs> so we just had shula's and now we are headed over to this little area back kind of hidden back behind the building over here got two food booths back here and some beer all right back here we're going to be trying frida's kitchen and they have a chili colorado bowl green chili braised pork steamed rice hominy pickled apple cabbage slaw crispy chicharrones and radish. Ooh, this is exciting. Oh, this is really good. Wow. I like that it has the chicharrones on top. There's so many different flavors going on in here. 
I had one little bite and I tasted a lot of like lime. I think that was just on the top. Once you get down a little bit more, you're getting all these different flavors from the braised pork, the rice, the hominy. And then on top is like a slaw and some chicharrones. Oh no, I dropped one. Oh no, my chicharrones. I'm just trying to eat a radish. Don't, don't mind me. <laughs> this is gonna be 15 minutes of Tim eating a radish. <laughs> this is the kind of content I signed up for. Right, buddy? Thin are radishes are where it's at. I've never had like a really, really thinly sliced radish. Is it pickled? No. Oh, just really thin? It's okay. really thin, so it's not as like, it doesn't bite as hard. Oh, gotcha. I'm, I'm really loving this soundtrack that they have going on, this playlist. It's like 80s yeah. hair metal bands, or maybe not metal, just hair bands. Jackson, how are you loving yours? You gonna have a little bite? What'd you think about that, buddy? The red eyes on. They're like homemade too. Yeah. The chicharrones. Oh, were they? Yeah. Mmm. You know, you can always tell them when oh. they're store bought and they like have, they're like, you, they're crispy, but they're like a little bit chewy still too. Oh yeah, they almost taste like thick. And the homemade ones are just crispy Ooh. and delicious. I'm so excited. See, mine's over here. It's just begging for somebody to take a bite out of it. Oh yeah, okay. Well, no, no, not uh, no. Me. Okay. <laughs> so the next booth is Finns or Finns and Feathers, and they have a Bavarian style warm pretzel, German mustard, and beer cheese. Oh, they have three different kinds of mustards. I'm gonna try this Ingelhofer. I think that'll be real good. I love a grainy mustard. Oh yeah. I'm a big fan. All right, let's give it a try. Ooh, it's very soft. That's good. Very like pillowy. Jackson is enjoying the delicacy of Cheerios. He's he's putting them back in the bag. Oh. That's what he was doing right now. So he's he's cleaning up. Gotcha. Um. So this looks a lot like just a plain old like a pretzel you would get at a theme park, but right. it is so soft. Okay, let's try this cheese first. Real cheese, like it's real cheese. Okay. Very good. Wow. Very thick, a little kick to it. I think it's like a, like a little peppery. Yeah, I want to try this grainy mustard here. Delicious. It almost has like a horseradishy kind of a spice to it. I love it. What's the other one? Oh, I wasn't as excited about that one because I think it's going to be very spicy. Hmm, kind of sweet. Okay. Yeah, it almost tastes like a like mustard and sweet relish. All right. Okay. They also had normal Goldens over there. Oh, did they? Yeah. I think I like the cheese, and then the grain mustard, and then the other mustard. Okay. In that order. All right. But they're all good. So I had the pretzel too. Very delicious. Yeah. Very soft, very pillowy. That cheese was where it's at. I think it's a nice addition, because it's it's definitely like a um, less, you know, like exciting than some of the other items, but I bet it goes really nicely with the beers they're serving. Right, so there are two beer booths around us with yeah. some like local breweries. Right. And I think that having that with the nice salty pretzel, awesome. Yeah. Our next stop is the Walt Disney World Swan Reserve. We're gonna try the Colorado lamb, roasted lamb chop, charred artichoke, braised gigantes beans, and lamb jus. Oh, these are my favorite beans. Oh yeah, the gigantic beans. Yeah. Very delicious. This is my favorite. <laughs> it's gonna stop here by Todd English's Blue Zoo and get some shrimp and grits, sauteed gulf shrimp, buttered white corn grits, tasso ham gravy. Oh, this is like everything you love. I'm so excited for this. Oh yeah, it looks like it's gonna be good. All right, we're gonna stop off at Smokin' D's Barbecue for some smoky ribs, sweet and smoky St. Louis style smoked ribs and macaroni and cheese. Gluten-free, dairy-free without the mac and cheese. This looks great. It comes with some Texas toast here and some macaroni and cheese. And then it came with three different sauces, a sweet and spicy, a molasses, and a Memphis. And then we've got the sushi restaurant here, the Swan and Dolphin Kimonos. This is the spicy tuna roll, seasoned sushi rice, spicy ahi tuna, and nori. I don't know a lot about tuna, but it does look good. Got some soy sauce here, some wasabi, and some ginger to eat it with. All right, what do you think of the sushi? You can see that it's got like some nice spice mixed in. The cucumber is nice and crunchy. This wasabi is like no joke. It's way spicier than most wasabi oh. that I get, like the sushi. It's really good. Nice. A really nice kick. And then another another one of the restaurants here at Swan and Dolphin is the Fountain, where they have Angus beef sliders, seared Angus beef patty, swan dew sauce, American cheese on a toasted brioche, gluten-free without the bread. I like this little retro looking toothpick thing they've got on the top. All right, you guys know that I love a good burger, so. I'm excited to try this little slider. 
That's pretty good. I like the bun a lot. Like a nice buttered brioche bun. It's delicious. It's got some mayonnaise on there. So this is a slider. We can't really get it like a medium temperature. It's just kind of one temperature for all the sliders. But they're so good and easy to eat. There's a live band over there playing some top 40 hits. I thought it was pre-recorded music, but it's a live band. Sounds really good. All right, so we are actually in, we were telling you how they, actually, I don't know if we told you, but they have an indoor section where they have some tables. There's nobody in here. So we're in here right now, and um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the food because it's a little bit loud outside, but I have to say, this DJ is amazing. Like if we ever have like a big event where we need a DJ, I wanna hire this person because they're doing such a good job. It's, the music is awesome. So I had the ribs. They were like fall off the bone, so super tender. I love the spicy and sweet barbecue sauce that they had. They also had a molasses sauce and then a Carolina sauce. But I think my favorite was that spicy and sweet one. The ribs were so, so good. I We got one because they had two huge ribs in them and I ate them both. I loved it. They were a little bit messy, but like ribs are supposed to be messy. So I for sure want to try and see where that place is because I don't think it's one of the restaurants within the resort like the other ones are, but that was fantastic. I will say it came with a side of the macaroni and cheese and I think the ribs were the star of the show. The mac and cheese wasn't as good to me, but the ribs loved them. And then I also had one of the sliders. That was also really, really good. Mine was cold because I was running around with Jackson trying to find the bathroom to change his diaper and stuff. And it was still actually really good. I also had the shrimp and grits, which I was very excited about because Blue Zoo is supposed to have some really delicious food. And I have to say it wasn't my favorite shrimp and grits. There was no spice to it at all. The shrimp was cooked perfectly. The grits were really good, nice and creamy. The tasso ham that was on top was really good, but I was expecting like a little bit of spice, a little kick. I think that was my least favorite item of everything that I had today, but it was still really, really good. It just wasn't exactly what I expected. But I, everything so far at this food festival has been delicious. I just had the ribs and I'm not really a rib person. I never really like eating ribs because they're too messy for me. I hate getting stuff all over my face when I'm eating. So I've never really liked enjoyed ribs. Those ribs were so good, nice and smoky, fall off the bone tender. I didn't have any of the sauces, but the ribs themselves, really good. Now it's starting to get a little bit late. I think the event ends at eight and it's almost eight now. So we need to head towards the dessert. There's a couple more booths down there. I don't know if we'll get to all of the food booths, but we're gonna start heading back to go to bed. But we got three booths. Let's see if we can hit all three before it ends. So we don't actually know what these are. It's some sort of chocolate cake. It looks delicious. And then this one is something with fruit. Also looks very delicious. Yeah, it's definitely raspberry. <laughs> oh, it's a very tart raspberry. It's good though. I don't know what this like ball is on top. It's like it looks crunchy. You no, know, it was like a, a marshmallow. Oh, a marshmallow. Mm. So it's like a raspberry with like a cream underneath it. Oh, okay. Pretty good if you like raspberry. That's very delicious. Let's try this chocolate thing here. With that, buddy. Mm. That's what I was looking for in a dessert. Chocolate mousse on top of like a dense chocolate, almost like a brownie. This is really good. I didn't think they were actually gonna stop at eight. Yeah. Eight o'clock rolled around, they're like, shut it down. I really thought that they were gonna go on a lot longer. I was worried about Jackson because of the music. Yeah. But they're done. They're done. They're packing it up. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. If you look carefully, you can see Spaceship Earth through there. We're really close to Epcot. And we're also really close to Hollywood Studios. If we could see through buildings, it would be right over here. And also, the moon is out. Oh, yeah. There it is. Good night, moon. This is <laughs> good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, bears, and good night, chairs. Yeah. You know what, though? This is actually a really great angle of the hotel. You can really see like how cool the architecture is. Yeah. I guess in this in this camera, you can't really see it because it's too dark. But like with your eye, it just it looks really awesome with the with the well, sky and the moon. When I was when I was walking around earlier, I was noticing there's a balcony up here, and I was trying to figure out what is that balcony. Where? You see it right there at the top of the black section? Oh, is that like a humongous room? I don't think so. I think it's multiple rooms. Oh, okay. Maybe though, who knows? So there you have it. That was our trip out to the Food and Wine Classic at the Swan and Dolphin Resort. I really enjoyed every dish that we tried. 
So I was telling them that I enjoyed everything. There were clearly some things that were like less tasty than others, mm -hmm. but everything was really good. Yeah. And we didn't get to try everything. Right. We, we actually missed, I think, two things. Yeah. Or two or three things. Yeah. Um, but we tried the majority of everything. And I think the the top thing for me, the top menu item for me, I really, really enjoyed the um, the ribs. Yeah. Were delicious. Uh, and the the lamb. Yeah. The lamb was so tender and so tasty. Oh, and the shulas, the steak. I liked the sweet and salty together. Yeah. But like I said, everything was really delicious, but some things were a little more delicious than others. I liked the steak and I liked the burger. Oh, yeah, the, too. the burger was really good. Yeah. I don't know. I definitely recommend it. We were talking actually to some of you that did the room and ticket package. Yeah. It was a super good deal. So it was $400 for two tickets to the event and a room at the Swan. Right. Which is, I mean, I feel like if you're already going to get a room at the Swan. Yeah. I, I would just do that room package deal. Yeah. All you can eat from 530 till 8. Mm -hmm. All you can drink from 530 until 8. And I think that was the big draw was the all you can drink because they had tons of really nice wines, tons of champagne. They had a Kettle One booth. So the there, beers. Oh, yeah. The beers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of drink options to choose from. And I think you could really get your money's worth if you're eating and drinking. Right. So... Yeah, so I do recommend coming out to the Swan and Dolphin Food and Wine Classic. Next year, it should be bigger than it was this year. Yeah, there were, there were 12 food booths this year, right. and they were all offering one food item apiece. But as you guys saw from the portions, they were pretty big portions. Yeah. So I feel like 12 big portions was still a great deal. But in years past, they did have uh, a few more options. Yeah, so... I think it's just scaled down a little bit because of the coronavirus, but hopefully next year things will have started getting back to normal and the festival will be much larger like it has been in the past. And I think they handled it really well this year too. I have to say also, and I think I mentioned this in the video, but the um, the DJ was so good. Yeah. It was a really fun atmosphere. Everybody was having a really good time. It's like a so. DJ band. Yeah, it was cool. It was like a DJ with a band. Yeah, I liked it. It was like a, it was just the atmosphere was great. The food was great. I really liked it a lot. Hey guys, future Tim and Jen here. We just wanted to pop in because we forgot to mention that there is going to be another Food and Wine Classic this year. It is October 29th and 30th from 5.30 until 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be the full event. Yeah, so two days. You get a, um, a little bit more time because this event that we just went to was 5.30 to 8. Yeah. So the one in October will be from 5.30 to 9. You get a little bit more time to eat and drink. So we'll put a link in the description down below if you'd like to learn more. But they are offering event-only tickets mm -hmm. and room packages at the resort. Yeah. So we talked a little bit about that in this video. The room packages seem like the best deal. Yeah. But again, check out that link down below if you want more information. So all in all, a fantastic time. Thank you to the Swan and Dolphin for having us out. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. Hi, I'm Jesse. And I'm Cooper. We're from Oviedo, Florida. And now, now it's, it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price. price.